hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this video we are going to work on the command builder now first of all let me tell you what command builder will do so basically if you remember uh, i mean in case of the sign in sign up and the uh, delete account operations which we perform using the sql server then in that case you can uh, you know that whenever we click on the sign in button after entering the email and password then only one operation is uh, executed at that specific time and that is the uh, selection okay select query basically wrote behind of that i mean at the back end and same is uh, for the sign up that is uh, insert query is executed at that time at that specific time at the back end and in the same case is in the uh, deletion of the account i mean at that case only one operation is executed which is the uh, delete query basically so now what if uh, we need uh, i mean if we have a large amount of data and let's say we perform many operation at one time that is let's say the insertion deletion uh, or you can say the updation at one time let's say in case of this grid view if we edit this one and then edit this country and also edit this email I mean for large amount of data we have here okay and also we uh, delete one specific row or you can say many specific rows from the grid view too so after pressing this perform operations we can perform all these things using the command builder okay so command building uh, builder is basically used uh, for operations like that that is to perform the insertion deletion and updation uh, at one single time and command builder needs uh, an adapter so yeah let's check it uh, how we can do that so go to the command uh, first of all double click on that and it create this uh, event handler for us now what we're going to need is to uh, create a select query select all from users user is our table and after that by using the object of that class uh, we uh, execute this function which is our in dbxs class which is this function now what this will do is basically uh, it receives the data table and a query so if we come here you can see this it received the data table and the query and first it will check if the con uh, connection is established or not and now by using the command builder you are passing the adapter to it now whenever a user uh, do any change on the grid view that is let's say any uh, a user insert any row from there or edit some data or delete any record from the grid view then that uh, operation will be performed automatically at one single time by pressing only one button which is on our grid view perform operation button okay so it will be performed by using i mean this command builder we can do that adapter dot update tbl name which is basically we are passing to the uh, database as a store procedure and uh, store procedure uh, I mean there in case of the command builder uh, let me tell you that SQL server has already their built-in functions or you can say built-in stored procedures which is which is used by this command builder now how it will work now I will show it to you guys but first come here and just you can see we just saw two line of code and one we will just display a message box to the user if any change occurs so this int changes will basically get the number of changes okay and it will store inside this integer type variable changes and we are displaying it in the message box so how it will work now let's check that you can see we just write three line of code okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the mr chips name to mr mohammed ali and then i'm going to change the country for this one okay now max uh, remember we have only change one uh, i mean we do only one change which is the uh, this one this is chips name to muhammad ali now the second change is uh, let's say for this user which is catherine hughes so let's say i'm going to change the name for this user to let's say germany and now what we are going to do this is the second change okay for this user id is 7 and catherine hughes and now i'm going to delete this row from here so select this row and press delete button on your keyboard and you can see the 13th record is deleted here from the grid view now you can see only three uh, changes we did here okay and now if i click on this button then all these operations will be performed at one single time so let's do that 
here you can see count equals to three which means we did three changes okay which is this one uh, mr muhammad ali then germany i mean we change the country name and then we delete the 13th row i mean the 13th record of user now if we press ok and now let's go to the sql server now let's execute this and now you can see the changes here mr chips is changed to mr muhammad ali and the country for this user which is Catherine Hughes uh, country is changed to Germany and the 13 record is deleted successfully from the database so this is I mean the uh, you can say the advantages of a command builder so whenever you uh, need any operation like that that is to perform the insertion deletion and updation only one uh, I mean by perform only uh, a click on one single button then you can use the command builder in that scenario according to your needs now uh, also let me tell you that is how we can know what uh, operation is performed by the command builder so go to the db access and here uh, all you're going to need is to write this three line of code okay which is insert delete update these are basically the string type variables and this one will basically uh, get the uh, insert uh, uh, change if any change occur on the uh, on our in our application on the command builder form okay I mean on the grid view and this one will get the update change and this one will get the delete change so let's say we are check this for the command okay we are going to check it so you can simply click here okay and you can see this one is selected now let's run the app and now I'm going to change here the ninth row which is John Cena I'm going to change this to John Parker okay now let's perf uh, click on this button so here you can see insert it gets the insert query you can see this insert into users name email password country and these are the values here which is you can check here okay you can see p1 p2 p3 p4 which is uh, on the secure I mean which is hidden so yeah in this way we can get that is which query is executed at specific time when we run the app so you can see this i mean uh, in this way we have learned all these things successfully how to use the command builder and what command builder will do so yeah that's it for this video and uh, if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel and bye for now